Now we will discuss how to prepare your probe for a sterile procedure. There are commercially available sterile probe cover kits, like this example that comes with a sheath, sterile gel, and rubber bands to hold the sheath in place. Alternatively, you can also use a sterile glove. Clean your probe as if you would before any use. You will need to have a media between the probe and the cover or the sound waves will not transmit. It's easiest to put non-sterile gel on the probe before getting sterile. If you are already sterile, you can put sterile gel inside the cover prior to putting the probe on, but it gets messy, and you're going to use the same small packet of sterile gel to guide your procedure. This cover is folded up like an accordion to keep it compact. It opens up as you pull the cover onto the probe. As you approach the cover, identify the open and closed end. Usually, this probe cover is placed when you are sterile and have an assistant to help by holding the non-sterile probe while you place your hand in the cover like this, grasping the probe, and then this probe cover will slide down over the probe. Here you can see the closed end of the sterile sheath on the probe. Here is a completed probe cover with rubber bands in place. Usually it's best to place the rubber bands close to the probe face and then further down on the probe cord. You can also do this by yourself when you're sterile. First, put your hand through the sheath as if it was a sock puppet. Grab the probe while wearing the sheath on your arm, and then you can pull it through with your other sterile hand. Great, now you know the mechanics of preparing your probe to do a sterile procedure.